Hello again, Frankie here. Today I'm bringing you to one of Kyoto's most scenic places, Arashiyama. You may know of Arashiyama for the famous bamboo forest or the monkey park, but did you know it's also one of the most beautiful places to see autumn colors? Some might even say it's the most beautiful autumn spot. Near JR Saga Arashiyama Station, there's a scenic train you can take that's especially wonderful during momiji and cherry blossom seasons. Last year, I wasn't able to ride the romance train because all the seats sold out that day. So this year, I bought tickets online about a week ahead of time. When I arrived in Arashiyama, the first thing I did was print the tickets. I had some time before my scheduled train, so I made my way over to the Kimono Forest. It's part of the Randen tram station at Arashiyama. There are around 600 pillars with kimono fabric inside, dyed with a traditional fabric dyeing method called Kyoyuzen. A designer named Yasumichi Morita was in charge of this project, and he aimed to bring something new to the tram station while also showcasing some old traditions. You can walk around the kimono forest and also the tram platform. The pillars are lit up at night. I haven't actually been there at night, so I haven't seen them lit up in the dark, but I imagine it's really pretty. Next, I made my way over to my favorite spot, the river. The wooden bridge is so picturesque and I love the landscape with the mountains in the background. Walking down this path along the river is so, so nice. Initially, I had planned to arrive in Arashiyama around 8 a.m. and go to a temple at 8.30. I did reserve a spot at a place called Yusaite because they've got one of the most beautiful windows and it's really popular in autumn for obvious reasons. I ended up canceling my reservation before this day though because I just wasn't feeling confident about getting a good photo there. I had this moment of panic thinking I didn't schedule a kimono rental so I wouldn't be able to get great pictures like these. I also panicked a bit because it was 2000 yen to enter for just 30 minutes which is a bit pricier than other temples but that's partially because you get tea and wagashi and it would have been around 5000 yen to rent a kimono and have them do my hair as well. There's usually a set for that. Of course, it's not a requirement to wear kimono there, but I would still like to get dressed up when I go. So I will save that for another season, maybe spring. On this day, I just enjoyed walking around. I grabbed a hot drink from a vending machine and headed back towards the Toroko station to get the romance train. The train goes from Saga Arashiyama to Kameoka and takes you on a picturesque 25 minute ride through the mountains. The first train I got was filled to capacity with all seats reserved and people bought standing tickets as well. The train has no windows but it's all open except the roof. The seats are in sets of four, so you're directly facing people across from you and two of you will be riding backwards. On the first ride, I did get a seat, but it was an aisle seat with two ladies directly across from me and next to me at the window seat was a mom and her toddler. Everyone was really friendly looking, but it was a tight fit. It was also a bit uncomfortable to ride backwards. I kind of had to twist my head around like the girl in The Exorcist and it was difficult to take any photos or videos. So after a few minutes, I kind of gave up on videos and just enjoyed the ride with my head twisted around. A lot of people ride the train to Kameoka and then immediately go back, which means the whole journey takes a bit under an hour. I was curious to see if anything was around the station though, instead of having to rush back. I guess you wouldn't have to rush actually, you would just stay on the train and find your other seat. I was a bit surprised though to find there wasn't really anything at Toroko Kameoka station. <laughs> Not to hate on Kameoka though, it's a more rural area of Kyoto but there actually is a lot to do there. It's just that there isn't much immediately around that particular station. 
Last time I was in Kameoka, I went by car, so it was really easy to move from place to place. So I was there with about an hour to kill. I grabbed another hot drink and bought taiyaki from the stand right outside the station. It was a pretty standard taiyaki with red bean paste and butter inside, but it was really good and it was nice to eat something hot because it started to get very cold and windy. I did try to walk around a bit and I admired the mountains. Occasionally, another train would pass by. The train I took back to Arashiyama wasn't nearly as crowded. There was a couple directly across from me, but no one was next to me. I had a window seat, but I was riding backwards again. Because no one was next to me though, it was much easier to turn my body around without looking possessed. So let's enjoy the ride, because it was a very, very pretty one. All in all, I had a wonderful day walking around Arashiyama and I'm so happy I finally got to ride that train. I hope you enjoyed it as well. In the Kyoto area, the peak during autumn season is usually at the end of November into early December. So if you're watching this video soon after I upload it, it's still possible to go and see it like this. Otherwise, save this information for a future trip. Have a lovely day and see you soon!